Whoa, 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 whoa. That looks deep, SJ. It's a road though, right? Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. It's gonna get deep. <laughs> oh, okay. I haven't ridden a ride with flies like this since the competition we did in Maine. Three weeks to our next endurance competition. We've got Cole and Azim up here. Definitely gonna be a short and snappy kind of day because the flies are bad. But that's what we want is some speed today. We're heading up the mountain. We're gonna take a shortcut up through a rocky path. And then we're gonna find a nice trail with some good footing along the top of the mountain. And maybe only go about five miles. Let's see if we can get rid of all the hay we're munching on. <laughs> So the theoretical idea of a short and snappy is you go quite fast, like up to eight or nine miles an hour for a shorter amount of time. In our revised summer, it basically just means that we're going to only walk when we absolutely have to, and we're gonna beat the average that we rode the last time, which was five. So we'll aim for five and a half or six. And we're not gonna to go too far today because we have a long ride coming up next week. So we have some stuff coming up that is definitely walk regardless of what we're doing. It's just too treacherous to trot the horses over that. I wouldn't even trot them over this in a competition. Might trot in an absolute competition. I don't know. It's not right on the border. This is great footing for them to have to manipulate a bit. And it's at the beginning of the ride, so I don't worry about them being tired. You aren't seriously going to take a drink of this. Come on, you're not drinking. All right, here we go. One mile. This is the left. Oh, don't miss your left, Lynn. Hey, bear and deer. We're coming. True competition scenario where you keep trotting unless you really, really have to come down for a walk. Uh, do the middle. Atta boy. Trying to ride what's right in front of us. Over this way. There we are. So when we rode this the last time, we came down and walked all of this. Not today. All right, Cole, right through. Please don't lose a shoe. Whoa. Did you jump? Yeah. <laughs> so did we. Branches coming up. Yeah, hold on here. It's a lot of branch. Ugh. Whoa. Cole's very alert. Yeah, so is his aim. Whoa, holy shit. Just took a big spook. Ate a fly <clears throat> down my throat. Sitting back as far as I can, going down this downhill. And now we're leveling out. Whew. 8.7 miles an hour, Cole. That's a really good speed for this. Nice trot. And more downhill. My God, it goes down forever. Nothing like starting a ride trotting downhill a mile. I'm not even plugged in. Oh God. I'm trying to trot and plug in. Get over here, I don't wanna go. All right, come down. Whew. 
Okay. That was fun. Well, it should be good going back because it's all downhill this way. It's hot out today, but we've been through worse. And it won't be long. This will be a shorter ride. We can do anything for a shorter ride. And how is the zine so far today? Be good. We're doing pretty good today. He's uh he's fresh, you can tell, but it's fine. He knows his job today at least. I think we're at the beaver dam. They working? Hmm. Oh wow. We have to move this. I'll wait back here. Get back here. Come on. Come on. Get going. Oh, he's scratching. Come on, Cole. Go. Yeah, what a good boy. This is a good trail horse. That would just go, yeah, okay. Okay. Nope. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Good job. Wow. It's amazing what they do. I have a lot more rain on coal than I normally would because there's it's quite technical today. Slippery, wet, a lot of down so far. Hey, bear, deer, whatever else is here. Here's that dip that Azim went through <laughs> and popped the other day. Jump. Your jump. Uh -huh. Oh, and I think we've hit some uphill. Finally. These trees have really grown in, which means we're gonna have to change our short and snappy idea probably. Oh well. So normally our short and snappies are somewhere where we're very familiar with the terrain up in Walton and it's set up very well. And I love it up here, but it's just not quite what we need. So um, today it's basically going to be beat your 5.5 miles an average you did last time. Yeah, I think it's really grown in a phenomenal amount, which I don't mind. I just wasn't expecting. Two miles. Two miles. I'm going to keep trotting down this. Oh boy, that's bumpy and lumpy. Ah, look out. There you go. <laughs> you still there? Yeah, I'm still there. <laughs> Surprisingly. <laughs> I think we're getting close to the end. So we're just going to ride, get a good ride in, because next week we're going to do a long ride up in North Mountain where we don't have to worry so much about the flies. And I'm talking 18 or 20 miles at a minimum of four miles an hour. And that will tell us whether or not we're truly ready for the endurance competition that's coming up. So we're just going to enjoy the rest of this ride, get speed where we can, stay ahead of the flies where we can. We're all getting exercise and we need it. We're getting a little bit of exposure to the heat without overdoing it, and uh, it's a great day. So off we go. I could trot this all day. This is one of those terrains where all the way in it feels like downhill, and yet all the way back it looks like downhill, which is impossible. We haven't done any downhill trotting in a while. So this is the road that shows on the map and it's very bushy. It would be very fly ridden right now. It's all very fly ridden right now. Oh gee whiz. That probably didn't do any good for my, I think it knocked my helmet cam. Hang on. Have a look. 
pretty sure my helmet cam got it. Uh, it's not, it doesn't look that bad. Really? I think my saddle's a bit loose, but wow, this guy can't wait to get going. If you have a horse that seems a little bit slow and you think, oh, this is never going to be an endurance horse, take heart. Cole used to have zero forward motion. And now he's in shape. He knows the score. He knows he's not going to get to stop until we get to where we're going. It's quiet back there, so hopefully they're cantering just fine. Hold on, Lynn. Oh, wait. Um, no, actually. Are we okay? Maybe we're okay. What happened? I don't know what he was doing. Flat as hell ears. Come on. What are you, what's going on, buddy? I don't know. I think maybe because it was really steep, could have been that. I think we're okay now, maybe. Try another little one. Oh, it's so nice to canter and it'd be quiet behind me. It's such a good sign. Little short canters, just, well, everything's going good. We'll just do nice little short ones. It had to do with the steepness of that, honestly. Just trying to get his legs under him. No bucky bucky. Here, we're finally finding some of that uphill that was all downhill. And this is quite lovely. We were having a lot of trouble with the zim bucking on the canter. And I think we've fixed it. All right, we're coming down for the downhill. We're not, we're not in a short and snappy now, so. Woo, we're good. What are we at? Almost four miles, Lynn. 44 minutes. Wow, it's hot. I think we're gonna end up with just the right amount of exercise for today. Yeah. We're feeling it, they're feeling it faster than we're used to. And then they'll be well rested for a major ride next week. What happens if I let you decide where to go? Down the middle. All right, well, I don't think I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Not that that was a bad choice, buddy, but just want a little more control. All right, into the middle, good. This is the thing I would walk earlier in the year, but oh, we're crushing it for time. Gonna go down Ga Goshen Mountain Road. Gonna do some exploring. Always time for exploring. If I remember correctly, Goshen Mountain Road had very few flies on it. We've never really explored it. So, since we're here, Ah, gee, these trees. Oh. Jump the pedal. Uh-oh. I love trotting through these, but he's only one week out from getting his feet checked. I don't want them to come off in a puddle. Whether you're training up and your timing is important or not, when a horse is thirsty, you stop and you let that horse drink. Always remember, no matter how serious you get, the horse is the priority. Poor helmet cam. It's even still on. I do not see where we're going at all. And I don't know when to come back up again until we get out of this puddle. There, trust the horse. It's a big thing. There, this one's nice and clear. About drinking, but then he decided maybe I want to roll instead. I don't want him doing that. Okay, we're on Goshen Mountain Road now, doing a bit of exploring. I think the furthest we've ever gotten down here is about a half mile. Funny how some days horses like Azim don't want anything to do with water. And days like this, complete non-issue. Hey, hey four-wheelers, stay away. This 
footing is a little tricky, trickier than where we go down in Stanley, but good for them for proprioception and all that good stuff. Uh, what kind of poop is that, Ashe? It's got raspberries in it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bear. <laughs> hey, bear. Maybe we should do a duet and a harmonize on this one. There's more. <laughs> Hopefully coyotes eat raspberries. Hmm. This road is a little more traveled than some of the ones we've been on lately, so I take heart in that. A deer fly just bit me. Are we at five miles yet? Uh, nope. Nope, all right. So this is the farthest that we've ever gone. And we must be close to five miles now? Not yet. Boy, that last mile is hanging out. Look at that. That's cool. Five miles. I want to see what's over the hill over there. Now that we're here. Oh yeah, we'll go check that all out. What do you think is at the top of that hill, Cole? I almost think I see water from the ocean, which means we'd be having quite a view. Well, no ocean. Definitely a mountain though, down and up. No. Yeah. We are on the top of Goshen Mountain. Is that a trail? Might be. Wanna try it? I think the flies are gonna be too bad, but we can try it. No idea where we are right now. Do you have any idea where we are? Huh. We are being swarmed with flies right now. Oh, what's this? Something to the left. Camping pit or something. Oh boy, this horse is tolerant. Ow, of flies. They're biting me. I'll pick it up again once we... You knock a few of those off your ears. There you go. This is cool. I do. It's really well traveled. Yeah. How the heck? I bet you we end up down on the 215 somewhere. I have no idea. This is fun. Well, somewhere along here we hit six. This is so cool. Yeah. I'm like a little marsh. Coyote feet, coyote feet alert. Whoop. I have some human spray and I haven't used it yet this year. But I think I'm gonna try. Of course, the problem is when you need it, and the flies are so bad. Oh, it's jammed in here. Here we go. Now, the problem with using this is that you have to wash it off the horses when you're done because you don't want other horses licking them. But it is called for right now. Do you want some fly spray? I'm okay. It coated me pretty good before we came. We go with these 66 year old hands again trying to just put something in a bloody zipper. Whoa, this is so cool. Where are we? Oh, probably about to come up to a friggin' grow off somewhere. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. We know where all the trailers are in the woods. And we know where all the grow offs are in the woods. It's deep, Past Jay. It's a road though, right? Yeah. Oh my God. Come on, buddy. Easy, easy, easy. It's gonna get deep. Whoa, okay. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that. 
Now that's a river crossing. <laughs> Careful. Buddy, I don't want to trot this. You just about went down a second ago. Let's walk it for a minute and check it out. What was that? I'm sorry, Cole. Extra apples or carrots or something for you for all these flies, but we're in it now, buddy. I haven't ridden a ride with flies like this since the competition we did in Maine. Now I don't really want to turn around, but God, we could be miles away yet. Where are we at miles wise? 6.73. All right. I mean, none of these roads <coughs> going this way <coughs> could be any more than two or three miles, right? Because they're crossing yeah. like four miles would get you. Oh my God. <sighs> I can tell you one thing, it wasn't worth putting human fly spray on them, it did nothing. Oh my god, Is it crazy looking? Ow! Deer fly are biting me. I don't know who's gonna have nightmares about this, me or Cole. No, you be careful, but. This is funny. This is funny. I'm having another wow we're really crazy moments not sure how we got from a five mile short and snappy <laughs> to i don't even know where we are it's crazy flies like sj said what did you say what i say something about this is us being crazy again oh, yeah. we don't even do it on purpose we really don't wow can you see these flies? Stay in the middle, Lynn. I'm trying to stay in the middle. Cole is slipping. Yeah, so is Azim. I think it is slippy. Yeah. Oh, a sign. A sign? A sign. Expect... <laughs> no, Where are we? So we just going? came across a sign. I thought, oh good, maybe it's the end. You know what it says? It, Cole, be careful. No, it doesn't say cool, be careful. It says, expect flood conditions. <sighs> Is that someone's idea of a joke? I bet you that we're either gonna have to get off here, SJ, or give up. Yeah, yeah. and I'm thinking give up. Yeah. Damn. All right, buddy, we're turning around. Oh, look at us. Look at the flies, Lynn. Oh, Azim's. We need to move. Okay, I'm fine. We've made a bad choice. That stays right. She said we made a bad choice. All right. Ow! Are you thinking the same thing I am? What? I can't wait to get home and look at my GPS, which will show me where yeah. we've gone. How yeah. sad is that? But that's what I'm thinking. Well, they got a good workout. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Easy, this is slippery, buddy. I am so impressed with Cole. Not only has he picked up speed over the years, but he's still, he's basically kept a, an element of level-headedness because any other horse, Spirit would be out of his mind right now with these flies. We would be half cantering whether we want it to or not. And I mean, Cole's getting frustrated, but he's behaving. He's a good horse. I don't know where we went down up here or why. I'll be happier when I think I'm on the other side of it. I'm way more worried about it than Cole, who's just munching away. Seven miles. Don't know where we are. We're on our way back. That's seven miles in. Big downhill coming. <laughs> we have to go through that water again too, that little river. I'm just hoping he doesn't hit a tolerance point where he goes, I can't take one more fly. Hold on, old lady, we're going. My hands are so sweaty. 
if he starts to do any, I'm just thinking if he starts to do anything up this hill, I won't be able to stop him. Benzemes? Yeah. He's well, if he's doing the same thing, look. I don't know if it's just sweat or flies or what. Have they saved up a bunch of itches? Have they got out of the worst of it? Eight miles. What's our average? Our average? 4.8. That's pretty good. Okay, here we are on the road to the trailer. The dirt road, final road. What is our mileage, SJ? We are at 992, 10 miles coming soon at a dirt road near you. How many miles, SJ? 10. 10 miles, woohoo! On a Wednesday morning and I see the trailer just to head home, sweet home. And would you say that this was, hold on, let's see, an extraordinary, extraordinary. day? <laughs> Happy trails.